Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another recipe out of the Eat Like a Gilmore cookbook. This one is not an alcoholic beverage. This one is the Shirley Temple. So the thing that surprised me most about this recipe was that it actually says use ginger beer and when I, in my whole life, I always thought people use Sprite or lemon lime soda with it. So maybe this is the classic way to make it. Um, if you know um, anything about the history of Shirley Chapels, please feel free to enlighten me in the comments. I might go looking online to see what it's really supposed to be, but we're going to make it the way that they want us to make it in the book. So this one, there was a lot of Shirley Chapels throughout um, the series because Rory was underage for a lot of it, but there was one night in particular where Emily wanted to do mocktails for everybody because Richard had just gotten out of the hospital and so Shirley Temples was her drink that she was sharing with everybody. So that's the one that we're going to do today and it's pretty easy and looks adorable. So let's do it. Alright, so here's the ginger beer that I got. It's Reed's. Um, my local store had actually an assortment of different ginger beers. Some of them said Jamaican style, but this one just says strongest and it didn't have any style. I thought it was more original than um, other ginger beers, so this is the one that I decided to go with. So I got my chili pepper to help me open up my drinks. All right, this calls for four ounces of the ginger beer, which is half a cup. There's eight ounces in one cup. So we're gonna pour that in here. And then one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon, which I already did in here because it took a while. And another ounce of grenadine. And I have just roses, grenadine syrup. One ounce. Okay. And stir it together. I'm sorry if you're hearing noises and stuff. Like there's people living upstairs that are, I don't know, bowling? I don't know what they're doing. They're pretty loud. And then my ice maker in my fridge is going. So we'll stir that up. That looks really pretty. Let me get a straw. It says to garnish with a lemon wedge. There we go. And here's my straw. And there we go. Oh, that's good. This is definitely good. I don't know if it's just adding the lemon juice or using the actual ginger beer, but it does taste better. <laughs> My lemon just fell off. It does taste better than it just Sprite and Grenadine, so it ta has a lot more flavor. I think it's the lemon, but also the flavors of the ginger beer it really brings it out. It's good. Now, I know I said it was non alcoholic, but it does say you can add up, you add about a one ounce of rum to it and stir it up. I forgot to get rum. But I'm gonna add vodka to it because vodka goes with everything. So let's try that. I have a little bit of vodka left from all my recipes. So let's add it in. I'll, I'll still measure it. One ounce. Alright. No, I had to back cut and not rum. So, add rum to yours and tell me how it turns out. Here's the vodka. Stirring it. I can't taste the vodka. That was really sweet. So, I hope you all have a good night. I hope you all subscribe because I have a lot more things besides recipes coming up. So, be ready for me. Okay? See you next time. Bye!